Hey guys, so today's video I'm going to be talking, it's going to be a really really quick video, well not really quick, hopefully a quick video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about my goals for 2015 and my thoughts on resolutions. Um, now different people work differently and um, personally I always have so many different things that I want to improve on each new year. But I don't understand why we have to wait for a new year to improve on things. If there's something in your life that you don't like and you want to change tomorrow, today, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a Monday, it doesn't have to be the beginning of the month, it doesn't have to be the beginning of the year. It can be any day. And that kind of annoys me. So why like why do we why do we wait for New Year? And people say, Oh New Year, New You You can't. You can only you've only got one new. You can't be near you. Um, yes you can make changes and you can change yourself and you can improve yourself but you should always try and be the best you you can be. So you should always be trying to improve every day. It doesn't have to be the 1st of January. So it kind of annoys me. Resolutions and stuff and I tend not to set myself them anymore. I used to be a really big resolution person. The problem is I am very black and white and if I I'll get into doing resolutions, I'll get really rigid, and if I just slip up even a little bit, let's say my resolution was to do an hour of walking every day. If one day I don't do an hour of walking because I'm ill, I'll go, oh well, give up, and then stop walking completely, and it just doesn't work for me. So, um, and I end up putting far too much pressure on myself, and I feel like a failure if I slip up just even a little bit. So I decided this year I was going to set myself some things that I want to achieve in 2015. It doesn't matter when I do them, um, they're just things that I would like to achieve. So, I think I came up with three things that I want to achieve, but there's more than three because within each three there's more. Anyway, the first thing is I want to learn five new skills or improve on five skills this year. So, I do already know a couple of ideas that I'm going to do. Um, the first one I've actually done, and that is knitting. Now, I say, oh, I haven't learnt to knit. Uh, I have learnt, improved, learned a bit more about knitting, but I could already knit. I just couldn't cast on, and I could only do knit stitch. And now I've learned how to purl stitch as well, and cast off. So I think that ticks knitting off, and I've actually finished a scarf so that was quite fun it's a circled scarf the other thing which I think might fail because I keep saying that I'm going to I've got to think positively Lily um, I think this might fail but maybe not um, I'm gonna try and learn the guitar because I've had a guitar for like a good few years um, and I keep saying to myself I'm gonna learn it gonna learn it but it's just committing the time because you have to practice every day. So I think that's probably what I'm going to next work on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to learn the guitar. I don't really know. Another thing I'd like to do and learn a new skill is maybe either roller, ska roller skating, not blading, so skating. Or um, penny boarding. I'd really, really like to do that this year. I'd really like to learn. Obviously, it's a bit cold and snowy outside. It's not snow today. It's a bit cold at the moment to be doing that. But when the weather warms up, then that is definitely something I'd really, really like to learn how to do. And those are the three main things that I've decided on so far this year. I'd like to learn five, but it's just, you know, at some point in the year, I might come up with something I really want to learn. So I've kind of left those rather than forced myself to come up with some. The other thing I'd really like to do is three things for charity, um, whether that's having a bake sale, whether that's, you know, or like a sponsored walk or a sponsored silence or something, um, I'd, but I'd like to try and do that this year. And the last thing I would really, really like to do this year is finish, um, not finish, get my biology AS level and my maths A level hopefully which I'm doing right now so that's not too difficult those are like my goals for 2015 um, 
and also to try and make more videos and film YouTube videos and stuff so yeah let me know if you've got anything you want to achieve in 2015 let me know your thoughts on new year's resolutions do you keep yours do you think it needs to be a new year to make a change i hope you guys are having a great 2015 and again as i said will you please will you please please let me know what you are hoping to achieve in 2015 and anything exciting going on in 2015 the end oh by the way at the end of the year i hope to do a video on what i've achieved in 2015 and we'll see we'll see if i've managed to achieve those um every time i achieve something like i learn how to knit or i learn a new skill or I did something for charity or I achieved something or I did well in an exam. I'm going to put it in my jar, in my jar, in a jar. And then at the end of 2015, I'm going to see what I achieved um, out of that jar. And yes, I forgot to mention that. Anyway, I will see you all in my next video. I thought I'd do a quick craft call so I'm just going to jump into it there's a couple of other random bits in there that I'm just going to show you first let's just jump straight